Hi guys, Mike Reviews It All here. Um, I was talking to my sister the other day who uh, lives in eastern Washington. I'm in the Seattle area. And I realized they did not have a big offer up there. And then I started talking to my parents and I realized that even though my dad used Craigslist all the time, he actually didn't know what OfferUp was. So there are still people that do not know what OfferUp is. Then there are people that don't really know how to use it and then there are people that use it incorrectly so what offer up is is i think everybody is comfortable with classified ads right now and kind of knows how craigslist works and how ebay works and offer up is it's like a craigslist with better listing you're gonna have to look on the app or the listing I mean it's all pictures you can see all the pictures you don't have to click on all the descriptions to get the pictures you just get the pictures and you see everything in your area um, the filters are very very intuitive um, it's a it's a very intuitive program um, I highly highly recommend it um, kudos to the programmer um, for selling things on there it's very easy to list um, take the pictures, takes a few times, it's pretty easy to follow instructions. Um, you can take, I think, up to like eight pictures, it's free. You can list whatever you want and it's free. Um, the great thing about OfferUp over Craigslist is there's ways to verify people. People can get verified, they're more likely to put their picture on there. And it is more like eBay because there are ratings. So when you sell something on offer up um you can rate the person that sold it to you um just like when you know when someone buys something for you they will rate you and you can rate each other up to five stars um very similar to ebay i have a five star rating on offer up um i think it's like 15 or something so people know that i've had fifth out of transactions that people have reviewed me on all 15 of my transactions they would 100% satisfied with. Um, you can report people that don't show up. You can report scammers. You can report, you know, what, whatever people do that is unethical, you can report. Um, in our area, um, I know in the Lake Stevens area, there's actually um, an OfferUp meetup place now. Uh, it's called OfferUp Meetup. Um, is actually put up by the local police department and it's just a safe place uh, to meet up on offer up and anytime you're buying things on Craigslist or offer up um, I always recommend you know meeting in a neutral place sometimes I know that's difficult when you have to try out electronics which is something that I bought and sold a lot of um, computers and different things you want to make sure that they work but um, just be smart be safe about it um, I hate to say it, but if you're a female, probably don't go alone. This cat's bugging me. He's just, he just wants to be up here. Um, you know, don't go alone. Uh, mean it like a McDonald's in a public place, uh, preferably during the day. You know, just be smart, just like you would with anything else. I mean, you know, you know how to be smart about that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think I have to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you about the biggest one of the biggest taboos on offer up that really upsets me. So it's called offer up or frustrates me, I guess. Not upsets me, but it frustrates me. Um, so it's it's called offer up, which means you're putting things up for offer. Um, when you're putting your listing together, your price is just that. It's an offer. If I put I have this PlayStation 3 for sale for $100. There's a thing people can offer me whatever they want. If you are firm on that price and you're not a person like me that likes to barter, I love to barter and I will talk you down pretty much every time unless it's just so ridiculously dirt cheap that I feel dirty. Um, put the firm price. Please don't put something up for $100 and then get offended when I offer you $80 because offer up means offer. So if you don't like to barter, use the firm price. And it will not let me offer anything but your full price. Now people can message you about things because they can ask you questions about descriptions and things. Then if people start messaging you, lowballing you, 
after you've said that you are firm on the price, then you can decide how you want to take that. But don't get offended because you put something up for offer and then somebody gives you a reasonable offer that's 80% of your asking price and then you're upset with them. No, that's on you. So um, just to uh, wrap that up, um, you know, I would definitely recommend getting it on your phone. Um, there's a messaging um, part on the app so you can message the person when you're close you know hey I'm 10 minutes away hey I'm you know I'm here um, they recommend that you don't give your phone number out to people which is probably smart um, I do sometimes um, I'm also a six foot man that's 260 pounds that is generally armed and I feel like I can take care of myself I'm not a five foot one man or woman who you know by themselves that you know someone might easily take advantage of and I'm just not trying to be I'm not trying to be sexist or anything I'm just saying there's not a lot of people wanting to kidnap me <laughs> that's just uh, that that's just the blunt aspect of it but um, I hope this was helpful for you if, if you have any questions comments uh, just remarks about um, Good experiences, bad experiences, funny experiences on offer up. Uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. Please give me a subscribe. I review a lot of things on here. Um, I take your recommendations for different things to review. I also do a lot of mixed martial arts. But if you're not into mixed martial arts, I do some other things. Um, thank you for tuning in this video. Like I said, I, th I hope it was very helpful. And everyone have a great day. Um, please like and subscribe.